Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome if you're new. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer, and today I'm in my car. We're gonna talk about car organization today. You may not think of being in your car as an extension of your home, but it is. We are using our car a lot and we're in here for a lot of the time, and things sometimes tend to get a little messy in here. In preparation for this video, I actually was on my dog walk today looking into the interiors of parked cars just to see what the situation was. And some of them were really messy, and some of them were, actually most of them were very neat, I'm gonna be honest. I don't normally look into the interiors of people's cars during my dog walk, it was just for science today. But um, I, I'm proud of I'm proud of a lot of y'all. As someone who's helped people organize their homes, I have been in their cars, helping to organize that space as well as uh, as well as in their garage. And I have to say that the car is a situation that can get really out of control really quickly. It's probably the easiest space to keep clean, if I'm being honest. So let's talk about why our cars get disorganized and messy in the first place. Number one, just everyday use. When you are getting in your car, you're often bringing stuff from in your home into your car, uh, but then not taking it out. Kids and pets are another reason cars can get really disgusting really quickly. Now, I don't have any kids, but I know I have been a kid, and I know that kids are often bringing things into your car, cook the, crumb, the crumbs, the milk, the juice, the soda, the snacks, all the things. Maybe that mysterious permission slip goes missing. Maybe it's under your seat. Kids, kids are a reason cars get messy. Another reason cars get messy is because we are busy. We are busy. Um, we are, I mean, I'm hoping now we're not glorifying being busy. Hopefully we're in a more zen space in 2024, but I still know that y'all are busy. It's busy. I know. I, I get it. And the last reason I think this place gets really messy is because we are hauling gear and all kinds of stuff in here, including like groceries. Whenever you go shopping and you're not walking, where are you putting it? In the in the back. In this video, I'm gonna concentrate on some habits and practices that I usually tell clients and usually that I practice to keep my car organized and clean and clutter free. And I'm gonna show you some products. Products are 100% not necessary in any organizing product project, but they are useful. These products that I'm gonna show you are particularly useful. You don't need all of them, but if you wanna pick up a couple, I think they would make your life a lot easier. All right, let's, let's just do it. All right, the first thing that I recommend to people wanting to keep their car organized is you have to incorporate car cleaning or car decluttering into your general decluttering schedule and don't consider your car separate from your house. Your car is part of your home because you're in, you're basically living in here. I know a lot of people have commutes that are like an hour, two hours to and from their jobs or wherever they're going and that is a significant amount of time. So please consider your car a place to keep up on decluttering and cleaning. So when you do your cleaning, either once, once a week, once every two weeks, every day, if you're cleaning that often, please come out and declutter your car really quickly. The more often you do this, the less overwhelming it's going to be. The easiest way to keep up on this is to invest in a car trash can. I have told my husband for years, I can't believe you have, don't have a car trash can in here. That is a travesty because what happens if you have a tissue and you need to dispose of the tissue? You're putting it in your pocket, you're putting it in your bag. No, you need a car trash can. I recommend this one from, I think the company is High Road. Anyway, I've had it for years. It Velcros to the bottom of my uh, car floor interior and it's great. You can empty it whenever you know you see fit. Usually you, I wait till it gets relatively full but if you're really um, you know if you're really on it you can empty it after every ride if you have that kind of time. I know I don't always have that kind of time or energy but it's leak proof so you know all kinds of tragedies could take place in this trash can and you'd be good to go. Highly recommend getting a, tar a car trash can. There are so many different kinds of car trash cans you can get and so you can find one for your taste but I will link the one I am showing you down below. I'm also going to recommend to you that you and don't come for me but eat in your car as seldomly as possible. Is that the right use of that word? Anyway try not to eat in your car. I know we live in a society where we're eating on the go. We are just like, oh my gosh, we're late for work. Grab the, you know, a bowl of cereal on the way out, put it in a Ziploc bag and eat it on the, on the highway. I get it. But I'm encouraging you now to try not to do this. If you have to, that's where the car trash can comes into play. But as 
little as possible eat and drink in your car. If eating and drinking in your car is a reality that you cannot escape, the best thing that you can do for yourself is give yourself the path of least resistance and make sure that you have options to clean up a mess like available immediately. I'm a big fan of having these armor all wipes in my car just ready to go. If I make a mess, I can absolutely clean up. Like if I spill my coffee, that's a tragedy. I have, But I have both a roll of paper towel to clean up with and these wipes if I need to clean up a stain. The other thing I've really leaned into lately, and this has been really helpful, is I got this really cool vacuum cleaner that I can plug into one of my car's power outlets. This thing is amazing. That way, if I have crumbs, I don't have to go inside and grab my vacuum cleaner, do all the, you know, make sure it's charged and everything. Even though it's just inside, what if I'm out and I have crumbs all over my seat? What am I going to do? Well, I could clean them up by hand or I could employ the help of this handy dandy car vacuum cleaner. I love this. I got it off Amazon. It works amazingly. It works in every car power outlet. You need this. Well, I mean, you don't need it, but it's I highly recommend it. That way you make sure you keep your car clean. Even if you're out and you spill chips all over your front seat and all over the car floor, you're going to be good to go. You're not going to have an ant army moving into your vehicle and living there and taking over. The other thing I recommend really is to take things inside with you after every trip. Just grab all the things you brought with you to your car and take them inside. Now, I like to employ the use of a reusable shopping bag. That way I can just grab it from wherever I am in the car and I can take everything, put it in the bag and grab it inside. I don't even have to put it away right away, although I do recommend that. Being able to put everything that I have in my car in a bag, if I like if it's an empty mug or something or trash, that I need to throw away that didn't fit in the trash can. Just, just always have it available. All right, my camera's overheating. I'm, I gotta turn on the, the air conditioning. All right, I'm so sorry. I had to turn my air conditioning on so that my camera did not overheat. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about the cool car products I now have to keep my car really organized. And I love them. Because I'm a phone user like everyone else, I need to charge my phone while I am driving because I use it as a GPS and I use AirPlay. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about AirPlay a little bit later. But I was using a regular car charging cable and it was good, but it was messy because it didn't, uh, when I got out of the car, I just saw these cords everywhere and I was like, there's gotta be a better way. This car phone charger is amazing because the cords retract. So you don't have to look at messy cords all over your car again. I think it's got two different charging speeds. I don't know. You can look at the video and tell me, but it also has, I think a USB uh, A or and another USB C input. It is the best and it's got a flexible a hinge so that it doesn't get in the way of my, um, you know, I made this video before and I didn't know what this is called last time. My gear shift, my gear shift doesn't get in the way of my gear shift. Anyway, highly recommend that. Along with my phone holder, it is so fantastic. It is, well, I, I used to have it on the top of my dashboard and I no longer have space for it because I have something else there that I'm going to show you in a moment. But I love this phone holder. This the the suction that it adheres to my dashboard to is or with is amazing. And when I need to get out of the holder, I just press this button and it releases its arms because the, the arms push in a little bit so you can you can really get your phone secure in there. And I think that is so genius and it was really inexpensive on Amazon. Now I drive a very old vehicle. My vehicle is from 2008. It is paid for so we're going to drive this into the ground. Being an older vehicle though, I don't have an auxiliary input to put my iPhone in to play my you know audio from my iPhone and I don't have CarPlay. I'm not willing to pay for it to put it to get it installed because because that's ridiculous. But I did find this CarPlay adapter on Amazon and it is absolutely amazing. And I've had it for, I think a year now, maybe even, maybe not a year, but I love it. It's on my dashboard and it's just stuck there with some adhesive and it's basically CarPlay. Now I have Waze in my car on a big screen so I don't have to look at my iPhone screen while I'm driving. And 
it is it gives me notifications of all my calls and it um, hooks up to my audio through FM tuner and I was using an FM tuner before to listen to my iPhone audio but this FM tuner is fantastic I hear no static at all and I highly recommend this if you have an older vehicle I love my older vehicle but she just needed to be put in the 20 21st century a little bit I almost said 24th century we're not there yet I do believe this was about $99 so it's a, a little bit of an investment but much cheaper than having CarPlay installed in a super old vehicle so highly recommend it works like a charm these other things aren't really organizers but they're fun extras. If you're like me, you're always checking your makeup. I love this mirror. Now, granted, if you need this, the sun visor as a sun visor, it is a little distracting, but luckily I have sunglasses for that. But this mirror is incredible. It just adheres to the back of your sun visor and it's got a light. It's got two different lights. It's got a warm light and a cool light. So if you're checking your makeup, like if I'm going to an audition, by the way, I'm an opera singer. I don't know if I said that. If I'm going, if I'm pulling up to an audition, I want to make sure I'm looking snatched. This mirror has come in so helpful. Not to mention this tissue holder, which is so cute. I got it off Amazon and it just sits on my other sun visor and it's so, so helpful. If I need a tissue, it's right there. The other thing I highly recommend, if you live in a place with weather, I have another piece of advice. If you live in a place with weather, have have some ice scrapers and snow scrapers in your house and keep a copy or keep another set in your car because if you keep a set in your car and that's the only set how are you going to get in if your car is covered in snow and ice hmm I learned that the hard way so always keep a set in your house and my other thing that I recommend if you have weather where you are you know what I'm talking about y'all in California you don't have weather I'm talking about here in Boston Massachusetts where there is weather sometimes the side view mirrors get really fogged up and icy I have a side view mirror scraper and it is the best. There have been times where it was so rainy or, and foggy and humid where my side view mirrors got so clogged up with condensation and all that stuff. And I just, I would drive away and be like, oh, I can't really see, not anymore. Now I have this and it even, it even like, you know, so if you don't want to get out of your car completely, you can just stay in your car and do it this way. My other favorite thing are these hooks to go on your seats to hold bags and stuff like that. Now I, know that there is, are cuter ones now that you can buy, but these are the ones I got off from the container store and they've been fine. But uh, I will put links to these and the other cuter ones down below. If you have a puppy or, you know, an adult dog, but I still call my adult dog a puppy. Statistically, the safest place for them to sit is the passenger side rear seat. Ideally, you would strap them in. So I have this really awesome seat from Kurgo and I get a lot of questions about this dog seat. It's slightly elevated so that my dog can see out the window and doesn't get as motion sick as he might if he couldn't see out the window. But it also attaches to my, well, it wraps around my, my seat belt, which I have to buckle in. And that way it acts as his seat belt because it's hooked onto his harness. And it is my favorite seat of all time. I had another one before that and I got this one and it was a little bit expensive. I think it was around $80 when I purchased it, but it is held up beautifully. My husband has an exact copy of the one, not a copy, you know what I mean, exact another one that is the same model in his car and it is fantastic. It is the safest way to get your pet from point A to point B without having to worry. He's actually traveled back and forth to Maryland from Boston in that seat and he's been so good. He's a really good traveler and that seat is extra comfy for him. It even has little pockets for things. I have I guess extra poop bags and that's where I put all of the vet bills when I get them out the invoices. <sighs> They're so expensive. Like the video so that I can pay his vet bills please. About a year ago, I made a video about how I organized my chest freezer and I had some extra collapsible crates with handles and I didn't know what I was going to do with those. And then I thought I just put them in my car and take them in the grocery store when I have to do a shopping run. And I got my own shopping cart or crate basket. <laughs> and I know that I have touched it and I'm the only one that's touched it. So I put two in my car and they are so fun and that way I can get all my groceries home I need not all my groceries if I have to buy a lot I'm gonna take more than that I'm gonna take a few bags but if I have to run really quickly and grab you know four things I just take that little collapsible shopping basket and I'm in and out actually the guy at Whole Foods when I was in there last time with it he's like oh you're prepared you got your own basket I was like 
Don't draw attention to me, sir. Lastly, I have this organizer that I got from the container store. It is collapsible. Y'all know how I feel about collapsible organizers. I love things that fold flat when you're not using them. They make your life so much easier. It is a little bit flimsy, I'm not gonna lie but it's held up really, really well. And it's good for storing things like, well, not storing things, but it's good for transporting bags of groceries. You don't want them to fly everywhere in the back of your car. You just put them inside the organizers and they stay really stable back there. Your milk does not go in all over the place. And when you don't need them, they fall flat. What else do you need? The other thing I have that I think is really cool is these sunglasses that are up here. These are over glasses sunglasses. Now I don't have prescription sunglasses, but I'm nearsighted. So I got these and they go over almost all of my glasses. So if I'm if I'm in a situation where I need to to either use the sun visor, which you already know is obstructed and a little distracting, or need to shield my eyes from the sun, I am covered. And these were really inexpensive from Amazon. The moral of the story is your car does not have to be a complete disaster. I have seen uh, actually, I'm going to talk from lived experience or I grew up in a family where the car looks okay, but then maybe the, the, the closed spaces like the glove box was kind of a disaster. I don't want, I, and I, I struggled as a young adult with that as well. And now in my old age of wisdom, I have decluttered a lot of that stuff and my glove box is no longer a disaster. It's pretty neat actually. There's not a lot in there. And I suggest that you do the same thing. So every time I come in here, it is very zen, it's very relaxed, it's very chill. Now when things are a little busy, yeah, maybe there's a couple of other things in the car that could come in. Yeah, but I'm forgiving of myself for that. I'm only human and I do the best I can to maintain. I incorporate my car into my home cleaning routine and you should too. All right, my battery's gonna run out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm so